Our next pitch up, a pitch is more of a keynote than a pitch. Presented by Johannes Kirsch and Benjamin Diederwegen. Hey! So strap yourself in. It's going to be interesting when you talk about how to hack life. How's it going? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> nice. So we are so glad to be here, and uh, it's great to be back in Munich. It, it's great to be here at Oktoberfest, and uh, yeah, we're very much looking forward. Does anything happen here? Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not alone here. I'm here with my best boy. It's <laughs> Johannes Klich from Snogs, and um, to introduce ourselves just a little bit. Um, I'm Benny Diedering, I founded BDX Media in 2016 and we create content for the love brands, for Adidas, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Louis Vuitton, you name it, like all the brands you love and all the cool photo and video stuff we like to do. And uh, we have one office in Leipzig, one office from January on in Los Angeles and that's what we do and today we want to talk about some marketing stunts we did. Yes, also uh, happy to be here. Who of you know Snogs? Hand rise. Okay, then I do not have to say so much more about uh, me and my cousin. Felix has founded Snogs like six years ago. Just started as an Amazon FBA seller. Any Amazon sellers here? Okay, sadly. But yeah, we uh, start selling socks uh, on Amazon. That was our first product, like invisible socks. And a little fun fact right now, the boxer shorts is our most uh, influential product and uh, yeah, best selling. So we are not anymore like selling socks on Amazon, we are selling boxer shorts in our online shop. So we changed over the time, the, si the last six years and right now we want to talk about all the little branding stunts we did together with BDX. So Benny, it's up to you. Okay, so... These keynotes are always for takeaways, and the takeaways are mostly in the end, but we want to start with the takeaway in the beginning, so if you don't like it, you can just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody know who this guy in the right is? Scott Galloway. Scott Galloway. Loud? Uh, please say loud. Scott Galloway. Scott Galloway, right. How do I look, Johannes? Like a fanboy? Totally fanboy. <laughs> and today I'm gonna give you a secret that my good friend Evan Lowenstein from Boltenbohr gave me. How to pretend that we are the best friends forever. Yeah. And it's easy and you can reproduce it for all the photos you will take here at Pizza Pretzels. The thing is, just look away. <laughs> Put it, take it in your arm and pretend to be annoyed. Like, okay, he wants another photo with me, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> so if you post a photo on LinkedIn, <laughs> go for it. And uh, that's like our biggest hack. Back to reality. <laughs> the keynote uh, is about what's supposed to be how to hack life. Uh, I had to submit this uh, ag uh, in the agenda like two months ago. And we didn't even know about what we were talking about, but I thought like how to hack life looks cool in the agenda or in the app. So, um, but we changed it slightly. <laughs> we were talking about uh, the best marketing stunts we did and the best things, how to get things viral. And I'm gonna start with the first one right now. And um, it's about a big brand everybody knows. It's a unicorn, it's a fashion brand from Hamburg. It's about you. And usually as we are making a lot of branding, people and brands coming to us, the clients. But in this case, this is, didn't happen. And it was like 2021 and there were no conferences and no summits, so you couldn't just go to Tarek Müller, to the CEO, and say like, hey Tarek, uh, we want to do a video production for you. 
So uh, I tried to reach out to them on LinkedIn. I tried to wrote them on uh, to write them on Instagram. I even t uh, texted like their interns and tried to get into it and try to get a job for about you. But it didn't work. So what did we do? We rented this truck, made the, uh, this out of home campaign and uh, wrote down our passion isn't about anything else. It's about you. And you must know for this, like about you has their in-house video production company and they're doing it really, really good. So what would be the reason to work with a shitty agency to see like us. <laughs> okay, so we went to Hamburg, drove around one week, stand in front of the Elbphilharmonie, in front of the Rathaus, in front of the company headquarters of About You. And there were two, three options that could happen. First option, they just ignore us. The second option, they sue us because we stole their CI, we stole their logo, make a legal advertisement. And the third option is, they respond. What do you think happened? They responded. They responded, yes. Oh, okay. So, we posted it on LinkedIn. Uh, it was on every newspaper. It was on Business Punk. Shout out to our friends from Business Punk out here. And uh, I made this post on LinkedIn. It's behind. Yeah. Fuck PowerPoint. I, I hate PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> So, and, and Tarek Müller instantly responded, crazy stunt, this, uh, this type of craziness we really like in marketing. And uh, his team was reaching out. And instantly, within the first year, we made 20 grand with this new client. That's cool, right? Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but what do you guys think? Like, this, like, marketing stunts like this usually cost one hundreds of thousands of money, but we are poor, so we did it cheap. We just spent like five grand. This uh, cool light truck, this is uh, the company that provided the truck, was like five grand, 400 euros of diesel, um, and as, we, we, as it was in house, it was no extra cost. But if you would pay like an agency, it's even just 20 grand or so. And we got a lot of cool takeaways from this. First thing, we got two million impressions viral, we got countrywide awareness, and we got content for all our socials. I wouldn't stand here today if we didn't do this. And uh, what I want to give you guys is sometimes you just have to do it. And uh, yeah, the first thing was two grand, the second was ten, and so on, and so on. And then it was happened. First case, done. Johannes. Yeah, then the second case. So. I told you Snox is known for performance marketing and performance marketing has been a key driver the last like five, five to six years. How we went like from starting with 4,000 euros to last year we made like 33 million in sales. So performance marketing was yeah, really, really important for us. But to be really honest with you, we were really shit at branding. So last year we teamed up then with Jung von Matt. Who of you know Jung von Matt? one of the yeah, most famous marketing agencies in Germany. So we teamed up with them and uh, was thinking about what we can do for our branding. Like we started, okay, what is our slogan? What, what is the key message we uh, provide the world? So the result was, okay, we as a brand, Snox, our slogan is why not? We want to do like crazy things. And then uh, in April this year, we uh, sold some shares uh, uh, to an investor and then we were thinking about, okay, how we can like celebrate this and can say thank you to our team. And then the, yeah, the idea was, was born, let's do the craziest office party you ever seen. And that's the result. You can see here, we invent all our employees and their partners. And we did like crazy stuff like you see here with a BIMX driver and so on. And the key takeaway for us is in branding is to focus and we call it peaks. So we do not think that branding is over the time like just posting every day on LinkedIn or Instagram. It's more about the peaks, like the crazy moment of a brand. So we try to focus in five to 10 peaks every year and we want to show you some of them. Like the first thing was the why not party like you see here. 
And the second key learning is when you do such a peak, like a crazy thing, you want to do it viral. And you want to go viral on the social media platforms. So we did the party and we, in the beginning, we were thinking, okay, how we can increase like our reach, how we can get it viral. So we invite Loredana. Who of you know Loredana? Famous She's, German rapper? Yes, we invited her as a, yeah, as a gift for our employees and it was crazy. And third learning was, okay, not only posting on Instagram, because to be honest, Instagram was shit. Like the video didn't go viral. It's gone viral on TikTok, as you see here. So we post it on every channel you have, like also on our website. At this day, when we got the party, you go on snox.com and there was a big banner with, okay, Loredana was in our office and then the video came and it was crazy. So three takeaways. If you want to do branding, do like peaks, like crazy stuff that got the potential to go viral. Second one, post it on every channel you have. Also email marketing, LinkedIn, everything. And then if you're planning peaks, got in mind, okay, how we can get it viral. And the results, you can do. The results. The results. First goal was, this party was for our employees. It was a big thank you and it cost us, uh, cost us more than five, uh, 50K. We got huge attention, more than 5 million impressions for the party, after the party on, on the socials. And for sure, we have spread our why not spirit. Why not to uh, make the craziest office party ever? Second example. Second example, okay, let's go for it. What was it? Pride event, what was it about, Johannes? Yeah, Bright event, it was uh, in June, and here we did an influencer and creator event. And there we used, the, um, we call it the lighthouse effect. The lighthouse effect says, we invited 50 of our most in influential creators, like with millions of followers and so on, but we only paid 10 of them. Because, and this is the lighthouse effect, the 10 biggest, they are really important that the other 50 people or 40 people want to come. Got the FOMO effect. It's the same here. We both didn't get any money to stay here. We didn't but, even get a hotel. No, nothing. But Arnold Schwarzenegger, I think he gets some money. So lighthouse effect, use this, only pay the biggest and the other one to come to the party and so on. Okay, and how does it work? How did we do this to make it even more viral? Like usually when you book an influencer, we, uh, I see we have people from uh, Meta, from Instagram here. Uh, I think, Daniel, you can confirm this. You pay like an influencer with 200,000 uh, followers. You pay them five to 10 grand. And uh, you get from this like one post on Instagram, two Instagram stories, and maybe one TikTok. And that's in the contract. And the thing is, we wanted to get even more postings for free. So what we did is we bring like a lot of content creators like photo and videographers and we edited everything just in time. And we delivered this to the influencers right at the event. They got airdropped all the reels, all the photos, all the videos and they posted what they were supposed to, what they had to do in the contract and then there were so many more cool photos. And they also posted them because they got them right away. They were full of endorphin, they were full of happiness and joy, and they just posted it. And we got like, instead of three content pieces, we got like 10. So if you do a content production or an influencer event, a marketing event, be sure to provide the content to all participants, whether it's influencers or investors or participants, provide it very early, drop them, drop it pretty easy via airdrop, send it a Dropbox link, whatever you do, just provide it that they can post it on their socials. And uh, in this case, it, it doesn't matter if you have like 200,000 followers or just 500. If you have 500 followers and you are the CEO of uh, Zalando, uh, you have a pretty cool audience on your Instagram story. So the key takeaways from this event was the first one, awareness. But instead of the first one, the awareness was built by ourselves because we create like the crazy office party and say, okay, Loredana was here, it's so nice. This time, all the creators talked about Snox and say, Snox is so nice, they had like a crazy event, I love Snox. 
this brand is such amazing. So it's even cooler when somebody else is talking about you, how cool you are, right? So that's the first one. Second one, we stood up for Bright. That's really important for us because one of our core values in Snox is individuality. So Bright is a really big uh, topic for us. And we're not only doing like a June month, Bright month, we are still working with, uh, yeah, some organizations to uh, push it even further. We got a lot of different products for the Bright community and we love to work with them. And last one, how much do you think costs us this event? Any ideas? 100? Even more? Somebody? Less? 200. 500k. That's crazy, right? But at this, in this day, we made 2 million in sales because it went viral and it was really crazy. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> nice one. Okay, so we were talking all about making things viral. What's the next thing we want to make viral, Johannes? We want to team up with you. Let's do some crazy viral shit together with you. Because like every event, I see people taking pictures here. I was at the Mexico at Wednesday, taking pictures with me, posting on LinkedIn. And when me with an account on LinkedIn with roughly 60 to 75K followers, when I comment your post with a, and you tag me, that's going to be your biggest like pause with the most impression. So let's team up and get a win-win situation for both of us. Yeah. So what we guys want you to do is if you want to have this one-on-one -on -one coaching for your next marketing stunt, for your personal brand, for whatever you guys want to do, I even um, work at home and clean your dishes if you want <laughs> <laughs> to do it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, At least if it's a personal thing, you have to do Take one picture at Bits and Pretzels out here today. Post it on LinkedIn, tag us, we will comment every single photo and you have the chance to win one coaching. So thank you and let's do some pictures. <laughs> okay, and just, just one last thing, uh, just one last thing. Thank you so much for Pits and Pretzels to make this crazy event happen here, to bring all these entrepreneurs to be these all these male and female farms together. It's so great to be with you today. And let's have a great party tomorrow. No, in two days on, at Oktoberfest. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's connect here. And thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>